So what is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 10th Angular tutorial for which I'm gonna show you what ng4 is and uh, how to get started with it. So ng4 as you might have guessed is just a way to loop over some iteratable things like arrays and objects. So nothing fancy about it, it's just still the same it was in Angular 2, right? So or even if there are many any changes they are not a lot major ones so what we can do right now is as you know that we have this um, object with the values as arrays so what we can do is change this to ng ng4 and again we have the star as a syntactic sugar and further i'm gonna get rid of all of this so what we can do is uh, rather first of all change this do something like uh, this and say that this is something like this and we can say name as HTML type as uh, um, front end and then we can say again we can just duplicate this a little and then we can say this is CSS, JavaScript, um, Ruby, backend, and we are good to go. Right, so now what we can do is simply say let language of my favorite, whatever we named it, my favorite lang, right? So thing you need to remember here is that this is not in this is not this because in JavaScript we do something like for a and B and then we iterate it if you have an object right but uh, this won't work for angular it requires you to write let your temporary variable of your array or whatever iteratable item you're on right so now we have access to this language which is just a single object in this array so what we can do now is pretty much create a list out of it so rather we should just do this in another list and uh, finally we can say li language dot uh, name and uh, language dot uh, type right and if I save this you can see we get HTML front end CSS front end JS front end and Ruby back end just like we would expect it to be now another thing what you can do is that you can actually get the index of the um, item as well so you can say let i is equal to index and sublime text is kind of breaking out of it so i guess we do not need to worry a lot about sublime text this is some problem with the syntax highlighter so anyways what we can do now is simply say index or other i and something like that and you can see that in the output we get 0 1 2 and 3 <clears throat> the indices of the elements in your array so again that's pretty much it angular provides a bunch of other items as well just like <clears throat> this i is equal to index you could also do like let uh, e1 is equal to even now there's nothing a lot of things going on here it's just that it's a boolean whenever the item which is iterating is even then it would be pretty much um, true right so what we can do is you can say ng if and uh, say here even as simple as that right so if i save this file and take a look you can see that we get only html and .js and if you take a look you can see that the zeroth one is html and the second one is js which is the only even one right <clears throat> and similarly you can do like odd is equal to odd and again this one is not important you can just name it anything but this one needs to be odd right so you can do something like this and you'll get CSS and Ruby 
which is the one and the third element right again you have something first which would just be true whenever the first item is iterating i don't know you might need it somewhere but it's usually not necessary right you get only the first one and again you have the last here and uh, you can again do the same thing you'll just get ruby right so that is pretty much <clears throat> how ng4 works and uh, yeah that's how you iterated over an array of objects so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one